All right, so we're gonna do some exploration of the real-time generation feature in Leonardo. I think this is really cool. So if you click right here, you'll go into uh, just a blank screen. But the cool thing about this is if, like, if you start and you design a, if you start with a prompt, right, the prompt grows and it generates it out um, for you here. So if I say something like a car, right? So now I have a car. Now, if I go in here and I say a red car, right and i say a red car driving so we, we've kind of we kind of done a couple things here but we're getting instant feedback without clicking and saying hey generate me a prompt and one of the things that they have here are these elements so these are kind of the focal models for this feature so there's four there's a kids illustration tune and anime and the full car illustration so if you crank any of these up they will make it in more of the direction of whatever that model is trained on or less, right? So if we crank this down, we could kind of land in the style. Um, we could say something like a red car driving, a man is sitting in the driver's seat. Okay, so a man is sitting in the driver's seat, zoomed out perspective. trees beside the road all right cool so we're getting we're getting somewhere we got to get a man in here trees beside the road the car is driving on the road great um and we could even do something like um blue car passing the red car okay so maybe like right here we have a uh, blue um, blue car is in focus. So we, we kind of have like a couple different things happening here, but you know, this is a super cool, super dynamic feature where you can go and you can change things. Um, one of the things that I like to do with this is really focusing on like character creation. So like I could go and I could say like, um, a woman, right? Um, and I can say of Hispanic descent, okay, wearing a blue dress, um, tall, full body perspective, right? So you, you're getting to this, this character. Um, and so we could say like, uh, one has Hispanic descent with, and I could even say like, um, you know, face in focus. Okay, so like our faces, is, you know, cool, we're getting there. If we, if we took this and we upscaled it, we might have something. Um, freckles and dark eyes. So we're getting to this, um, this area right here. So like it's even, I could even say like, uh, something like, um, red hair, okay. Um, but then like certain, certain elements are, uh, overriding that. So maybe we could say something like, so we have this earrings type of thing. So blue is added through some earrings. So I could say, uh, no earrings. And that may or may not take. So, you know, we, we're going to have to, we're going to have to play with that and, and see, you know, ultimately what, what, um, or I could even say like small earrings. Right, which just seems to make them bigger, right? But if you toy around with the prompts, right, you can start to do things like this. So I can even say, um, uh, perspective in a bookstore. Okay, so like we roughly have a very similar character um, at the beach. Um, we could say like at the the park sitting on a bench and then we can really roll into, into, some, into some other things pose is with legs crossed right leaning to the left and lean to the right and we can try to modify this a little bit um, 
outside of body, right? So the more descriptive that we are, the more we can kind of get out of it. And so since we already said she's sitting, sitting on a bench, um, we could do a couple different things. Like we have we have the the woman, and we could e we could even say wearing blue jeans. So wearing blue jeans, boom, done, right? And a red T-shirt. It's like now we have this persona and we're kind of changing um, you know, how she looks, right? So we can we can start to toggle these a little bit to, to kind of get to more of a style that gives us more of what we're wanting um, because this is, this is definitely something that's not um, super straightforward, right? Uh, in terms of like what these styles are going to produce, especially with these combinations over on the side here. So we can, you know, reset those, see what we get. Okay, cool. Here's what we got. Great. So what's cool about this is the instant feedback. And what I like right here is they have the upscaling built right into it. So if I say creative upscale of this, um, you know, immediately, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this up. Okay. And then I'm going to say creative upscale, right? And we're going to see, um, what that comes out as whenever it's upscale. It'll take a few seconds um, for us to get that. But so he, here you go. So here's a little bit of a, you know, this is this is running through. And we could even take this one and we could go to the big upscaler, right? So he, here's the upscaled image, right? So we, we really took this initial character, said, you know, hey, upscale everything. She's got a couple fingers chopped off. So that's kind of problematic, but we can download this image, take it, use it as image guidance, right? And we'll even we'll even start to do that just to kind of tie the whole thing together of how we use everything, right? So I'm going to take this, bring it over. We're going to save that. Um, going to go over to the um, original image prompting area, right? So our ex exit real time generation. Go to image generation, and then we're going to go over to image guidance. And then we're going to trash this one and then we're going to bring this over. Okay, great. And so now we're going to take this one and we're going to say a uh, woman uh, sitting in bookstore drinking coffee. Okay. And then we're going to generate that. Let's make sure the aspect ratio is good. It's one for one. Okay, great. And then we'll go and then what we're hoping to get is really this person, this character upscaled, high definition, all the things, right? We're gonna want to have a representation of her doing something different. Um, and uh, we could even do like uh, sitting in restaurant eating steak. All right, cool. So one of the things that's interesting about this is that it didn't really carry over some of the styles of the actual model. So we have kind of two different things going on here, but we do have, right, like the retention of this initial um, initial theme. So just once again, another interesting way for you to kind of see how image to image works. It will take into account a lot of the things that were in the original image, like the three boards. Um, it really took three pieces of wood and kind of weirdly put them here it has her drinking coffee but then it took away the uh the style etc and if i do this prompt a uh, woman sitting in a restaurant eating steak we're gonna have uh once again kind of a different thing but if we if you see kind of she has a slouchy kind of pose she's sort of like leaning forward like she might be like about to get off the bench we sort of have that element inside of this uh when we use the image to image um or the image guidance feature so definitely keep that in mind right Okay, so yeah, the stake thing went totally wrong, right? But just, just something to keep in mind here as we're doing like real-time generation, it's really cool because you can take these ideas that you kind of landed with, but then kind of bounce all the way out. And then one thing to keep in mind, it kind of saved my place in here when I was generating the image. And overall it's got, um, you know, my place saved and it's got, um, you know, I can basically pick right up right where I left off, right? So 